What's going on guys, Rye Flawless here, and today we're going to talk about what's new in Pokemon. First, let's briefly talk about the Pokemon World Championships. They will be held this month. They'll take place August 18th through the 21st, and will include the video game championships, trading card game, and also Pokemon Unite and Pokemon Go for the first time will have competitors at the world championship so really excited to see the new additions i do like the official streams of pokemon unite they are very cool so if you haven't watched that before definitely check it out i'm mostly interested in the video game championships but definitely excited and you know most of you who want to check out worlds are already aware of the dates but yeah definitely really exciting all right, let's talk about the shakeup in VGC. So, following the World Championship, starting on September 1st, VGC 2022 Series 13 will start. This series will do something that VGC or competitive Pokemon has not done before, allowing mythical Pokemon. They weren't allowed in the past due to limitations of getting them because a lot of them were in-person events and even the online events codes and things like that now sometimes um, it's hard to get a hold of these mythical Pokemon. Pokemon like Celebi, Melmetal, Mew will all be allowed for the first time. And not only that, restricted legendaries like your Kyogres or Groudon will be allowed as well. And you're allowed to have all six of your Pokemon on your team to be restricted legendaries and mythical Pokemon. There's no limitations here to what you can do. So I'm really excited to see that because we'll see a lot of pairings and a lot of teams that we've never seen before, especially in the official VGC rules. Let's talk about what's new in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So just announced on the third, we got the new gimmick mechanic um, for battling, which is the Terrastal Phenomenon or Terrastalizing. This turns a Pokemon to a crystal form that either boosts the attacks of its same typing if its terrestrial form is in the same type or it could terrestrialize into another type gaining same type attack bonus in the typing it takes the form of. So it'll be really interesting to see how that plays out in battle and especially in competitive Pokemon. On top of the terrestrial phenomenon or terraforms or terrestrializing whatever terminology you want to use for it, we also gain terra raids to get rare terraforms for certain Pokemon. And raids weren't the only type of multiplayer announced. We're also getting four player co-op. So you can explore the Paldea region with your with up to three friends which is something that's really cool i don't think it'll involve battling so you i don't think you can play through the whole story together but you can go catch new pokemon and really just explore anywhere with three of your friends so i think that's absolutely awesome i think it'll make a lot of the multiplayer a lot more seamless especially if you want to do raids with friends you can all just be in a party together already and then go do the raids instead of having to connect with your friends every time you do a raid so i really like that addition to the games and last but not least we had three new pokemon announced that would be the paldean regional form of whooper we got fido the cute little bread dog and sititan which looks like a land whale with spikes on him so some really cool looking pokemon that is all the news i have for you today and what's new in pokemon Thank you so much for watching. You're all flawless, and I'll see you next time. Bye.